Start the show! Alright, on to the second half. Please welcome back to the stage, Chase Bailey! <laughs> Scott's been wearing their kilt. There are other answers. <laughs> Sock stockings. Uh, wow. um, back all during my 30s, I owned a bar downtown. So I'm quite familiar with over serving back then half of what seemed like Greenville County. But we always booked entertainment, and we had, we had tons of people come through, solos, duos, small bands, all that stuff. But there was one night in particular, a crazy, rowdy crowd, um, a guy who had never played there before. Uh, he was recommended to a friend, and I thought, well, this friend of mine who was a big music booking agent in Atlanta said this guy was incredible, but you know, you better get him into your little bar now because you know, there's going to come a day where you'll never be able to afford to see you. And so this guy showed up and he brought his acoustic guitar and he brought this really interesting red-headed middle-aged keyboardist that brought his old Hammond organ. And it took eight of us to get this organ out of the van and into the bar. And I just kept thinking, well, this is really going to be interesting. Well, the place was packed. Elbow to elbow, it's loud, we were not a listening room. And all of a sudden, this guy started in his first song, and it was kind of a slow song. And by the time he got to about the second line of it, uh, everybody stopped. Because he hit this high note, and it was just incredible. And, and I can remember the song, and it just everybody just stopped. It was like people just sat on the floor. And many years later, Got, got out of the bar business, retired from the adult nursery business. Is what I <laughs> and I ride in the car, and I guess it's probably eight, nine years ago, and I hear this song on the radio. And it's Faith Hill, and I thought, God, this is a really familiar song. And it was the, the guy who had played at Henny's that night, Angie Aparo, and he had played there a few other times. And I pulled over to the side of the road, called the booking agent buddy of mine, got Angie's number, and literally on the side of the road, called and got him on the phone. And I said, please tell me that you didn't sell the rights to that. And it was the song Cry, and it made number one on two different charts. And Angie made like $800,000 off of it. And all I could think was, you know, it was really cool to be able to see an incredible talent play his music and he had written it that year in my little tiny insignificant bar and then all of a sudden years later it becomes this great number one award winning song and I always thought it was kind of a special. Um, I'm really excited about your new, your new band. I think you're great. It's your songs are awesome. Yes. It's just you're real ugly. <laughs>
stay a little more. Let me just show you what she looks like. Put it back home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she got... I feel calmer now. <laughs> yeah. Look, look. I like, I like the song about the mom. You know, it's good. Bye, bye, bye. It's not so good. No, no, it's not. I will show my face again if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> let's, put it, let's put it to a vote with people with human faces. <laughs> Sometimes a human face looks like this, especially if someone had sex with an eel. <laughs> <laughs> if you're honest, let me show you the back. It looks like a human face! <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. I'm sorry, Dom. Sorry. Oh, look, your face looks like the back of an eagle. Yeah. <laughs> Not the good side of the back of an eagle, either. Not one like the dollar bill eagles. What are the eagles? They're like, give me an eagle for the dollar bill. Nope, that one. It's... it's <laughs> <laughs> I mother did not mate with an endangered eagle. All right, no one thinks your mother made it with anyone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what, about, what about the heartfelt, the heartfelt song about growing up in the streets? Sleeping on the ground. Sleeping on the ground. It's a great song. I feel like we're going to change all the lyrics to that into a dance break. Dance break? No. Do a dance during the lyrics. Do the lyrics. Dance. But what? But what about I slept on the ground? I made a nest. Yeah, that's a great song. That's a great lyrics. That's why I, I slept on the ground. I made a nest. Yeah. <laughs> Walking down the street without headphones. 
Oh, no, yeah, I got you. Like, like the, the shell shape of a stirrup of the cochlea and all that is in the air here. I love you like the possibility of being born with a malformed cochlea and being totally deaf but still being able to hear so much better in one ear because of love. I can hear that! I can hear it because of our love! You want to go to Dave's? Let's get ready for the show. Let's get ready for the show. So, so I'm, I'm the guy who's, who's going to get his uh, test done to find out if it's my baby. Yeah, you're, you're, you're the supposed baby dad. Alright. And I'm the other supposed baby dad. Right, right. <laughs> and I'm the pregnant woman. Now, are we supposed to know who's actually the baby's father or is so we going to... Flip for it? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to find out right now. Oh, okay. right now. Wait, we're not going to do this on, on screen? No, we're gonna find out now so you guys can prepare like your little Oh so yeah. for what you're gonna do. I I brought a shank. Can I pull that out there? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait. Is this Oprah or is this Jerry Springer? Springer. Ah oh, see I thought this we were gonna do this classy. No. <laughs> I thought we were gonna reveal it and then we're gonna go to some marital counseling and work it all out. I mean, it'll be classy. We'll fix like whatever we don't want to show. No. <laughs> no, I just good, because I'm wearing a very short kilt. <laughs> I've never gone this far on TV. I've only done Dr. Phil, okay? I've never gone nowhere close to this. And you're calling us uh, attraction. <laughs> there are a lot of good episodes, right? A lot of good family stuff there. No, no. Dr. No. Phil's sensationalized. At least Jerry Springer's honest. People really are sleeping with their cousins that much. Who's going to be uh, All right. All right. Now on this side, we got a head of an eagle. Right. This time we got the ass of an eagle, not the good ass. <laughs> it's not an endangered eagle. Oh, here. Ping. Ass. <laughs> oh, it's on the father. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the right thing, guys. I'm sorry. I've, I've, I'm gonna own up to my actions. All right. I'm an adult. I did an adult act. And I'm gonna do an adult responsibility. I'm gonna support. I'm gonna support my my wife. <laughs> we're gonna get married. All right. I'm gonna do the right thing. All right, we're, I'm gonna, you and I are we're gonna we're gonna join a church. We're gonna baptize our babies. Shang Shang. <laughs> it's fake. I'm just I'm just practicing. Yeah. We'll piss like blood. Piss like blood. Don't worry. Yeah. How, how am I doing? Is, am I dropping too many? Uh, You're dropping too many emotions. You got I mean too many low emotions. You got to get like up there. I'm gonna do the right thing. Oh yeah. I'm gonna support you. I'm gonna be there right after work. Don't support me. Support her. Well, no. I think we can use. It takes a village. <laughs> yeah, no, I, oh, I want, I want to support all of us. I'll, I'll gladly support her by giving her another child. <laughs> 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 